Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Cordant and we are back for some more Pillars of Eternity 2 Deadfire. We are currently in the Bardato estate. We have just finished killing all of the Velara family. Uh, I don't like either family, they're both evil in my mind. They're kind of despicable. So she was happy that I killed the other family, <clears throat> but now I want to kill them as well. <laughs> so I'm thinking about how I want to do this. And I was thinking that maybe this might be the best spot because it's a, a natural choke point. My only concern with this is that it's very tight in this area. So if we get some kind of AOE effect sent at us, it's going to be problematic. <clears throat> but at the same time, if I try fighting in a very open area, I counted there's like 10 enemies around here, I think I would get overwhelmed. So I am going to try and use this choke point to my advantage and see how it goes. And if not, well, we can just quick load. <laughs> That's the advantage of not playing in Trial of Iron. <clears throat> so, uh -huh. I think I'm going to start by stealthing up my people. And I suppose I want to pull with it there. Uh, there's not... There's no real way for me to pull with it there besides just going over there and smacking this guy in the face can i even attack him normally i can okay. here we go <clears throat> Oof. and it's already one level higher okay let's let's back up over here i'm gonna get a disengagement attack but it's it's what i signed up for okay so let's block this over here this bitch has exalted... Oh, she has a lot of defenses. God damn. Um, she seems to be a paladin. A priest, two halberdiers. Okay, so. I think I'm going to start with some defenses here with Holy Meditation. I'm going to have to Kehu toss out a chill fog over there. <clears throat> Eloth, what are you going to do, my friend? I think he's going to go for speed. And then probably some tentacles, like over there. We'll see. Mr. Piggy is here on backup duty. And I'm going to wait until this guy comes in to shoot him in the face. Sound good? Sound good. <clears throat> so. Wounding shot. Crippling strike. Is going to be my start here. Okay, so he's buffed already. Um, ideally, I would like the the tentacles to be behind it there. Let me see if I can do that. I think I can. Okay, so you <clears throat> are going to start taking a lot of damage here. So let's go for this and that. And just crippling strike maybe this guy here. Okay. Ooh, we took 108 damage from my rogue, I love it. This bitch, yeah, she's a paladin, she's trying to put a debuff on it there, I believe. Okay. Mr. Pig is trying to fight. Can he go over here, maybe? No can do. Not really. <clears throat> this guy is pretty much dead right now. So, I think with Shoti, I'm gonna go for the Wicked Briars. <clears throat> Just damage everybody in that area. He's still summoning, he's still casting a spell. I'm gonna swap... Oh, she's a wizard. Yeah, she... So this is my problem here with um, being all clumped up. Although they're also very clumped up. She's gonna cast this debuff, it's gonna hit every single person. <clears throat> which is, you know, unfortunate. I am gonna swap my focus to Nira. Because I don't wanna fight... Um, I don't wanna deal with spell casters if I can... You know, prevent it. Most of these are just straight up physical damage dealers. Okay. The chill fog should kill this fencer. Uh, Shoti, for some reason, isn't casting her spell, even though I told her to, which is very annoying. So put this over there. <clears throat> okay. Nita is still casting her thing. Chill fog just went out. Yep. Okay. A boiling spray won't be bad either, but not right now. 
I think I want to go for this. Yeah, yeah, I do. So get that going. We have our tentacles over there. <clears throat> so now I think Aloth. I think Aloth right now is on a debuffing duty. But there's a lot of enemies. I think this warrants getting a power surge. And after my power surge, I'm going to go for debuff. Oh, come on. You can't see. Okay, you can see over here. This should be enough. So debuff, after that debuff, I'm probably going to go for exposed vulnerabilities. God damn it. And after that, <clears throat> we'll see. Probably an enervating terror. That okay. Would be enough. okay, okay, okay. You are focusing on the wizard. This guy is dead. Okay, there we go. Wait, there we go, no. There we go. We have the Miasma. Eh, we hit some people, but not everyone. I blasted Nita. I think before she was able to cast her debuff. Okay. That was the first shot. She could actually die with this second shot, which would be awesome. Ooh. She did die. Okay, perfect. So I think my next target... I would love to hit the priest, but I, he's too far away. I think I'm going to start focusing on Izali. She has um, lowered <clears throat> deflection right now. So go for this and then go for that. Okay. Uh, you're casting your thing. That would be enough. Okay, we're fine. Devotions for the faithful to buff and debuff everyone. Awesome. Let me see if I can knock this bitch up. Like, pew. Nope, we missed. Oh. oh. Okay, she's gonna go down quickly, actually. So I want a finishing blow on her. She should die. Takehu. Um, go for blizzards. Yeah, they're, they're all plumped up. They're all gonna die very quickly. Okay, cool. So you are just attacking, so just buff yourself up and then just start shooting. It should be enough. That would be enough. Okay, Shoti has done her thing. I could go for Pillars of Faith. Hitting everybody, that would make me happy. Okay, very good. Ezali, dead. Okay. Aloth is just melting the opposition. Exactly, in my area, exactly what he's supposed to do. I think I might also just put up a malignant cloud. To just have more passive damage going out. And this would hit everybody on their side, but none on my side. Yeah, so do that and then just start shooting again. Uh, Takehu, go for another blizzard. Okay, very simple, very simple. Oh, bitch. Reap. Piggy. This is why we have backup piggy. Oh, and... <laughs> what did he do? He came in and he ran away. Okay. <laughs> I like that. Let's debuff them all with an interdiction. Uh, who is my current target on my rogue? Uh... I can just kill this guy straight up with the finishing blow and then go for a wounding shot on this guy who's also quite low. <clears throat> Sound good to me. Raw damage cloud going out. Nice. Everybody's getting hit. Shoot this. You are fu- Shoti? No. Come here. Just shoot over there. Okay, Mr. Piggy, back in action. Okay, this guy jumped in and then jumped out. You know what, my friend? You're gonna pay for that. Takehu, uh, boiling spray. This would be a good, a good, uh, good time to do it. <laughs> I love it. I love my rogue. 
no. No, 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 no. No, Knock it up. Whoops, misclicked. Knock it up. Uh, you are gonna shoot this bitch. Takehu. Uh, I have no more heals. God damn it. Just lightning damage then. Flakers. Heal! Heal again! Oh, nice. Okay, she's fine, she's fine, she's fine. Okay, so I would like you to kill that guy over there. So let's just crippling strike him and then do that, and he should die. Never you mind that miss. I'll land the next one. How is he dealing so much Oh barbaric smash? He's a barbarian. I see, I see. Okay, well we can just counter that by healing. <laughs> Which is good. Okay, shot shot. Yeah, the carnage is being very helpful. For him, I mean. He's dead. Good job, tiny mustache man. Yeah. Perfect. <clears throat> Perfect. So both families are dealt with. All right. Neither of them was a particularly good family. Uh, the one thing I'm curious about is. It doesn't say anything regarding reputation, but I, I feel kind of off. Or sorry, it feels kind of strange if reputation isn't affected. But at the same time, I think I... I think I have a negative... I, I don't know how this works, let's be honest. The Valiant Trading Company... The, dead fi the Royal Deadfire Company belongs to the Rawatai. Yeah, so these guys here should be the Valiant Trading Company. Yeah, pretty sure. So I think we're fine. I, I don't think we lost any reputation, actually. Oh, why am I at one only with Shoti? I should be maxed with her. It's... it's... <laughs> oh... Oh... <laughs> she doesn't like the Kehu. Yeah, <clears throat> people don't like the Kehu. <clears throat> it's to be expected. I'll take care of it. Okay. What did you guys have? What do you need? Oops. Hey. So here. I'll see it. Oh. Deltro's cage. Ah, okay, so it, it's part of the, the helmet. It makes a pair. Exceptional heavy armor. Plus two to all electricity power levels. Interesting. So this would give me plus two armor rating compared to the one that Eder is currently using. Although I would lose the deflection bonus. We'll have to see. And then Bardato's Luxury. Exceptional. <clears throat> it's a maze. Taxing. 5% chance to sicken target for 10 seconds on hit. This is not going to happen. And Grant Nobility. Resistance to constitution afflictions while above 50% health. Okay, that's not bad actually. If we enchant it, we get grace. You shall not bow. Constantly restores health while the wearer is bloodied or near death. Exactly good. Untouchable. Immune to constitution afflictions while above 50% health. These are both quite nice. I think I prefer the untouchable one. I'm gonna have to dedicate some time outside of a video to just decide what I want to do in terms of enchanting my gear because there's so many options. If I come here during a video, I'll, I'll, I'll just not do anything. Death and Tax is my favorite magic deck, or one of my favorite magic decks. Death and Taxes, 10% chance to second target for 10 seconds on hit. Hardy Inspiration to self for 60 seconds when ally falls unconscious. I mean, this is not bad at all. <clears throat> Although I would prefer this never happening. But I do like it. If Mr. Piggy counts as an ally, this might be more useful than if I didn't have an animal, animal companion. 
or tribute. 10% chance a second, 10% chance fit for 10 seconds on self, on scoring hit. Uh, five constitution. I prefer death and taxes. Okay. And how does this level up, by the way? Conductive storm grants relentless storm. Once per rest. Wait. Seven to ten. Uh huh. Bring us on. Striking enemies frequently in the area of effect with lightning bolts that stun and deal shock damage. <coughs> I think this is different than the one that Takehu has. has. At the same time, this might actually be a good armor piece for Takehu. Though the, the, the action speed penalty is not cool. Shock shield. Shock damage heals for 50% instead of dealing damage to electricity attacks. What the hell? Okay. <laughs> Very strange. <clears throat> but yeah, this, this is a cool armor for Takehu. I'm just not sure if the, the recovery speed penalty is going to be something that I want to deal with. We'll see. Other than that, just pretty standard stuff. Okay, take it all. And we're gonna swap our mace here because I only have a fine mace. We're gonna get the exceptional one here. Mm -hmm. 11 penetration, let's compare it with this one here. So a lot more penetration. It's slower. I lose deflection, although I grant nobility. This grants scrim. I like this, man. Why is it so tough to choose? <laughs> Send this away. Hmm. Oh, you're actually using this. I forgot. He, he has the Kabbalist's Gambeson. I think I'm gonna try <clears throat> and use the Deltro's Cage. It would also fit if I go the Sword and Shield route. It bumps up his armor rating by quite a lot. And gives him plus two to all electricity power levels. Not that I'm using a lot of electrical spells, but I do have some. Just look at this again. Conductive storm grants relentless storm. It's only one per rest, but this effect seems quite nice. And I could buff it right now if I wanted to. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna try and see how it fits. This is a fine polex. Good thinking. And I think we're gonna have a chance to test it out right now. Because I intend on going downstairs to kill the rest of the people. So, quick save. Let's go. I expect the fight down here to be easier than the one upstairs, because I think there are less enemies. And this is kind of a natural choke point already. So, it there would stay over there. These guys are getting confused. Okay, so wait. I think I would want it there here. Mr. Piggy over here. Yeah. Shori. Yes, Captain. This guy can How stay there. You can go there, and you can go. <sighs> well, maybe I'll just start the fight like this. <laughs> huh? Okay. Come at me, bitch. Let's reveal him. Uh, can I shoot him in the face right now? <sighs> Almost. Okay. Let's see. Shoot, shoot. Oh, I can, I can, I can. I actually can. So, come my way, please. We're gonna start buffing ourselves. Uh, I will want a chill fog here, which makes sense to me. Usual accuracy buff. Just wait, don't move, don't move. 
Okay, 70 damage right out the gate. Nice. Knock him up. So, Aloth is buffed. But I don't really have the... I do have the range for it. So, let's put some tentacles here. Oh, he's... He's dead. He's all kinds of dead. Shodi, let's get some Wicked Briars. I'm actually enjoying these Wicked Briars more than I thought. To just deal some, you know, a little bit of damage. And this guy is dead, so I'm gonna swap my targets for my Rogue. For these two... Actually, this guy should be a softer target, so let's target him instead. We have our Chill Fog. I'm gonna try this out then, the Returning Storm. Bitch, hitting Mr. Piggy. Not cool, man, not cool. Okay, well, the usual. Lower defenses, I'm gonna put a... What is the name? A Malignant Cloud, just dealing raw damage over time. Then I buff and then I shoot. Easy. Okay. Yeah. Two of these already very low. So my next targets are gonna be this guy. And I'm just putting up dots and also disabling them with um, the crippling shot. Even though the crippling shot isn't showing up here. It's kind of weird, right? Because this was... What was this? Uh, <clears throat> crippling strike. But I don't see the crippling strike debuff. Maybe he's just immune to it or something? I don't know. Oh well. Uh, let's speed this up some more. Yeah, more people coming in, but the power of choke points is just too great. This does not work. Yeah. So, let's go for Devotions for the Faithful. Mr. Piggy being the boss he is. Okay, we have lightning going. <clears throat> let's go for a blizzard. Rather difficult to concentrate. Yeah, they're taking a lot of damage there. Okay, wait. Did my did my pestilent cloud got interrupted? I have a feeling it did. Barda, no, no, that doesn't matter. Carnage doesn't matter. Abandoned casting. Oh, into the fray. Okay, so he pulled. God damn it. <clears throat> okay, well, it's 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 not fine actually. God damn it. Sorry. Back up, Aloth. No Aloth. Okay. Let's try this again because I want this effect. Okay, so sit it there. And is this Shody? What is it there? It there? Why is it there? <laughs> Man, the, the pathing or the movement or whatever you want to call this in the game is very weird, man. It's very weird. I want to go for a shining beacon. From Shodi. This does not work. Okay. Uh, how far can I hit with this? I can, I can wait, I think. Another one! Okay. So I'm trying to blow up this guy apparently. So blam. And blam. Aloth is taking some damage here. But I think he did cast a malignant cloud. Yes, he did. Four hits and three crits. Let's just look at the damage 20, 20, 15. Oh, this is on my own people. Okay, on my enemies, yeah, it, it deals some damage, not, not that bad. Okay, <clears throat> so let's go for our Minor Blights and then just <clears throat> the usual shooting routine, which is more than fine. Okay, so Shoti is fighting. Let's actually get the passive healing. 
you know, just to make sure that we're so Oh my Jesus! Uh, are you buffed? Yeah, back up, man. I think he's taking carnage shots. Okay, Piggy's fine. <clears throat> I'm actually gonna go for a Moonwell here. Ooh, nice shot. Don't kill Shorty, don't kill Shorty. Nice. Blam. Perfect. It will be so. I'm very happy about this. <laughs> Candied nuts. Yes. We can go to Fort Deadlight again, my friends. Finally. Okay, perfect. Anything else here that I might want to steal that I haven't already? Oh, hello. Oh. Wait, we're all in stealth. So what are you doing? Game. Game, game was silly. The game was very silly. <laughs> okay. Let's get up close to this guy. And just smack him in the face. For very, very high damage. Just shoot him. Just go there. Mr. Piggy. Go there. 87. 55. Need something stronger. <laughs> Finishing blow. <Pew>. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. What is it? Anyone else? Leave it to me. Well, that is the end of the <laughs> Okay. Uh, I opened the door in the previous episode, and apparently the game doesn't remember that. Or he kind of remembers it, but... <laughs> okay, Let, let's just move on. Okay, well, the Valida family is done, the Bardato family is done. Um, I'm just thinking if I screwed up some future quests, but... When I was talking to Ezali, she didn't have any more dialogue for me. So... Oh, <gasps> yeah. So I kind of hope she doesn't have any... She doesn't have any more quests for me. What the hell is this? What is that? Is that something for the future? Okay. <clears throat> I'm gonna quick save this because I'm curious, but... I wonder if it's... Hmm. Or is she just guarding that the, the chest? I don't know. Okay, it's, it's all of us against her. But she is more than four levels higher. So this could be a mistake. Okay, so I want it there to engage. I want Mr. Piggy to flank. And I guess I can open up with... A wounding shot followed by a crippling strike. Let's just reveal it there and swap our stance here actually. Oh god, is she a banshee? Is she gonna stun all of my party? <laughs> okay, she took 61 damage from my first shot. So I'm inclined to believe that she's not that tough. Famous last words. She is weak against perception afflictions, but she is immune to constitution afflictions. I don't even know if I have perception afflictions, honestly. Um, she's weak versus fire, strong versus cold. I think I'm just gonna use Takehu to try and stun lock her. We're gonna get our buff here. Aloth. I think Aloth is just going to speed up and try to kill. 
Yeah, she's taking a lot of damage, so I think we're fine here. Yeah, yeah. She got knocked up. Stronger. Mr. Piggy is flanked. Oh, she's she's all kinds of dead. Two finishing blows just to make sure. Okay. What is it? Of course. So I'm not exactly sure what just happened. Okay, Where let's... There's a pick, there's a way. What was she guarding? It's finished. Okay. Nothing! This was such a waste! Okay, I... Um... Well, I mean, hopefully if, if this ghost was part of some quest, it will count still, because if not, I might have some trouble. But now I want to see if there's also a ghost in the Valida house. Okay, this is very strange. I wasn't expecting that at all. Hmm. Did I mess something up, I wonder? And I ask myself these questions, but if you guys are listening and, and you know that I messed something up, but there's some kind of spoiler, don't tell me. Let, let me find out on my own. But it's very strange. There is no ghost of this guy. Only of Izali. Hmm. Yeah, I'm wondering if she had something special associated to her. Okay, I don't know. Well, <clears throat> that's done. <laughs> for, for good or for worse. Um, so, what is our next destination here? Let's see what we have. We have the hunt for Aethas, which is sending me to a Songo. I'm not going to care too much about the bounties right now. <clears throat> the Lost Sanctuary. Travel to the ruins of Motari Okozi. Long journey northeast of Neketaka. Oh, a tepu can be found by a statue of Helia west of the throne room of the palace. Okay, I, I guess I can do this and go talk to this guy. Symbols of Death is for Seraphon, Poko Kohara, Poko Kohara, a Songo. Oh, and this is the one for it there. This is Sayuka. Oh, Shoti as well. Right, right, right. Poko Kohara. Exploring islands. Okay, so I think I'm actually gonna take care of this uh, What what was it? Yeah, so I want to talk to a tepu <clears throat> and then I also want to try and complete That part of Shoti's quest because there is a luminous other pillar by the animancers and I think I can either Have her speak to the animancers or have her use the luminous other pillar. So I guess I can try either of those I want to go to the Serpent's Crown, and I want to go to the Kahanga Palace rooftop, sure. I think that works. You hear a set of heavily armored footsteps from down a nearby ally, alley. So I'm being ambushed. The narrow streets in this neighborhood... It sounds like heavy armor, plate mail are largely deserted at night, and the echoes of heavily armored footfalls carry down the cobbled lanes. A, a glance around the corner reveals an aging meadow folkman, garishly dressed in the styling of a dear wooden noble. Lamplight glints from the rings on his fingers and chains around his thin neck. Damnation! I told you incompetence that this was not the right street. The words are slurred, as if the man's tongue is too heavy for his mouth. Several men and women, all too heavily armored for the climate, accompany the man. Apologies, master, if we... Shut up, fool! 
By Magdan's flame, is it always this hot? I'd pay a thousand dukes for another drink. Hmm. I'm going to approach the group because I'm curious. One of the guards leads in towards the man. This is not the safest of, safest of streets, sir. Perhaps it's your job to keep me safe, not prattle on like a school or a school marm. At your approach, one of the guards puts a gauntleted hand on the man's shoulder, but he twists out from under it. Finally, someone with a thought in their head. He pads towards you, gesturing in broad swipes of the arm as he speaks. These imbeciles have gotten us entirely lost. Can you point the way to... Was it Queen's birth, I believe? I can give the no... Why is streetwise... Okay. Guides cost coin. I happen to have a drink. Do you have those thousand gold pieces you mentioned? Your money or your life. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna bow to him. He's not my lord, that's for sure. Well, I happen to have a drink. Do you have those thousand gold coins you, uh, you mentioned? The man briefly blinks before his features split into a wide grin. Fantastic! What do you have on offer? I will pay more than fairly for it. Well, I have a bottle of ale, a cask of grog, a fine lager, mead imported from the Adir Empire, rice wine, rum... Well, he's a noble, so maybe something like this would be good? So, mead imported from the Adir Empire. The noble's eyes widen as he clasps the bottle. Ah, I knew you were the very model of refinement. Here, please, with my blessings. The guards exchange glances as he hands you a heavy bag of gold. Nice! Uh, I thought this was more... Oh. Each of these is worth 12 copper pieces still. And I guess I can just give him directions? Uh, me? Drawing from your knowledge of the streets of Neketaka, you direct the man back to Queen's birth. You have my sincere gratitude. He bows deeply and offers a small bag of gold coins. For your trouble. Okay. And that was it. I mean, I guess... Probably the more advantageous thing to do there would be to fight. To try and get loot, but... I think that would be more for an evil approach. That's not my style right now. I'm a helpful... I'm an helpful Orlan. Okay, so we are at the rooftop. So if I go here, I think I know who they're talking about. This Atehu or whatever his name is. I think he's the named guy over here that we weren't able to talk to before. Not here? No, not here. So further down, I think. Because I remember there being someone here with a unique name that didn't have any special dialogue. Which I think was over... Yeah, Statue of Helia. There we go. A Tepu. Okay. Quick save. The Sun's card one glances up from the rumbled sheet of, tar of parchment in his hands and regards you with unease. A Tepu. Drawer of maps. I have nothing to sell unless you are needing something else. He clears his throat and rolls up the parchment with a quick spin of his palms. You're the cartographer who discovered Motari Okozi, correct? What I discovered remains to be seen. A cautious smile spreads across his lips. The sanctuary isles were thought to be lost beneath the waves. If I stumbled upon one, I can think of worse finds to credit my name. Okay. So, how did you make this discovery? I was surveying the waters around an atoll when a storm dragged my ship off course. The waters were unknown to me. When a green fleck appeared in my spyglass, I unfurled my sail. The shore twisted around itself, confusing even this old navigator until I found myself at the center. Hmm. I did not make it far up the beach before I spotted signs of habitation. Marking my coordinates and orienting myself by the evening sky, I made for Neketaka to tell the crown of my findings. Okay, and tell me about the Sanctuary Isles. Our ancestors marked off specific islands across Deadfire as rallying points in case a great misfortune split up the tribes. Even they could not have guessed how important the Isles would become. So one thing that's 
it's not exactly bothering me, but it feels kind of weird, is that when I think, naturally this is all fiction and fantasy, right? But when I think of a man like this, like almost a giant, very burly man, a Juana, uh, or a, an Omawa, I thought his voice would be something more, you know, I don't know, rough. Some thousands of years ago, volcanoes, Which is not the case. storms, and quakes shook the archipelago. Any one of those do happen, but never with such ferocity or all at once. Or maybe it's just the model in the game that doesn't exactly depict what he's supposed to be, because over here he seems a little bit more lean. The Juana survived by taking shelter on the Sanctuary Isles to save our society and not just any one tribe. Since those days, we have not found any of the old Sanctuary Isles. Ngati took some beneath the waves, taking whole tribes with her. Others were lost to time and forgetfulness. I am told that the Wahaki are protective toward the Isles, but that is their business. Atepu shrugs. You mentioned that entire tribes were lost? Understand. The dead fire was broken. The lives lost could not be counted. And more has been forgotten than may ever be remembered. Imagine how much history we lost in a single year. Much less the millennia that followed. Whatever our people hoped for themselves, we may never know if we got it right or wrong. Okay. So, if I was venturing to this island, what might I find? Death. <laughs> wow, thanks. Atepo stares away, his face losing its color until it catches your expression. I, I did not mean to frighten you. These islands have known great tragedy, and millennia have passed in cheerless silence. Hmm. Should you land on a sanctuary isle, do not expect to find welcome. Okay, back to my other questions. Ah, uh, if we must. Uh, so... Okay, so he doesn't tell me where to find it, he just talks about it. Uh, well, you must have seen much in your travels. Ever found the sign of Ukaizo? Just hearing the word causes him to perk up at attention, though his lips press together at the slant. There is not a Juana in all of the Deadfire who does not take to the open water hoping to catch a glimpse of the lost Ukaizo. He sighs. Oh, if I could walk the beaches of our ancestors, take a fleeting glimpse of what they left behind, mine would be a life well lived. Okay, and what would you hope to find uh, on Ukaizo? The same thing we all hope for. Answers to the long silence that precedes our history. Who we were could tell us who we are. But if I am being selfish, maps, charts. <laughs> our ancestors were keen explorers, and a roll of their parchment could teach us more than what we have gathered in the last century. Okay. <clears throat> well, farewell then. One thing to note, I do love the, the water effects in this game. Yes, I'll take care Okay, of so how did this update? A local cartographer, blah blah blah. According to Atepu, the, Wahak the Wahaki are fiercely protective of the Sanctuary Isles. Probably just means we're gonna find defenders there. So now in Serpent's Crown, I don't think I have anything else to do. So I am gonna go back to the Sacred Stair for Shoti's quest. If my people would control my... Oh, sorry. Kara, I owe them nothing in return. I suppose you discovered all that on your own, lounging in the bathhouse? Kara, <laughs> where I do my best thinking without the babble of scholars to fill my head. Okay, so I came here because I remember this, this thing being here, this Una's Luxuries, but I never actually found the merchant, which apparently is here now. I guess it depends on the time of day. <laughs> Quick save. I'm sure I have the perfect gemstone to match your eyes. Take a look. Okay. Show me what you have for sale. Ooh, she has unique things. Pearlescent rhomboid hellstone. 10% chance to reflect against spells and grants shifting chroma. Uh, sorry, what? Self, random effect. The colors with the, huh, huh, applying random defensive bonus at the beginning of combat. Oh, okay. Okay. So I get one of these at the beginning. But this is a helmet. 
I mean, I guess I have some people that don't have helmets yet, so it's not bad getting a, a random beneficial effect. I'm gonna buy that. And the Ring of Boundless Stars. Grand Stains Chaotic... Oh, this is good. One per rest. So it deals crush damage, but... It applies a random effect and then jumps to three other targets for also random effects. So it can paralyze, uh, petrification, or paralyze, or weaken, or sicken, or stun, or blind. This is not bad. But 5,000 gold for it? <clears throat> not so sure. The stone of power I like because of the power surge. But again, not sure if anybody would be using it. And then she just has gems. Okay, I'll, I'll buy this one. <clears throat> okay. And leave, I guess. Oh, actually, wait. Let me see something here. Yeah, because I do have this bounty in Serpent's Crown. And since I'm here, I might as well just take it. Previously, when I came to this area, it was a much higher level. But now it appears to be on my level, so I guess we can take it on. Okay, so bounties I'm always kind of afraid of. <clears throat> Let's try and stealth here. And see what we can do. Or what we find in this case. We find a very open area. I would love to be able to get over here. Oof. That's not my level, dude. As you wish. Back up. Back up. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> that enemy is clearly not on my level. I am going to back up <laughs> very slowly. And leave that for later. Okay. So we're gonna go for a Shoti's quest. On the Luminous Adra Pillar. And I do intend on using the Adra Pillar not... Um, I don't want to give her away to the, the Animancers. I think it's this one, the Spire of the Soul Seers. So I should be on top of the building, I hope. Yeah, pretty much, okay. So rooftop. And let's... Yeah, now we can interact here, you see. I'm gonna quick save. This luminous Audra ought to be able to take my souls, Watcher. What do you say? Let's try it. A gleaming pillar of luminous Adra towers above you as Shodi stomps confidently towards its base, a grin ripping wide over her face. Get ready to witness the feat of a lifetime, Watcher. I'm about to do God's good work to single-handedly shepherd a multitude of souls straight into the depths of hell. <laughs> this sounds a lot worse than it is. Hell is just the, the in-between or the beyond. So Takehu... He likes it, and Aloth does not like it. She rubs her hands together, drubs her palms against her hips, and snatches up her lantern, eager, ready. She wriggles her shoulders and pops her neck, stands subtly widening. Okay, well, be careful, please. Flushing prettily, she glances over her shoulder just long enough to blow you a sloppy, wet-looking kiss. Ooh. As long as you're watching my back, I'll be fine. Oh, and I have to use my... My hat. Right. As she exhales those last words, she presses one palm flat to the cold expanse of gem-like growth, fingers trembling, and like a firework going off, the light from her lantern flares blindingly bright. What? She was injured. Electricity, no. Hypercharged soul energy whips across the air, lashing open Shoti's skin. Traveling the pathway of a thousand branching veins and capillaries, the strike bursts Shoti's bloody from face to neck to arms and lower, and she screams, her voice a secondary crack across the sky. 
Uh, release the souls. I swear to the gods, I'm trying. The words rattle from between clenched teeth, ripped from her convulsing body, but she doesn't let go of the other that's searing her palm. The lantern trembles so violently it nearly cracks, but then a massive wave of purple essence rushes from the lantern. It swirls up and around the other, crashing along the glimmering surface before being sucked inside. The other pulses. Br oh, we completed the quest. Okay. Or updated. The other pulses brighter, then darker. We actually completed it. Um, then even brighter, blinding. There's a howling, then the other cracks, and a jagged shard tumbles to the ground. Ugh, son of a god's darn motherless cur! <laughs> That hurt worse than a back-to-back -back whooping from Uncle Angbird's quarterstaff. Hell, and I only gotta do it again and again on cycle until the day I die? Uh... You don't have to do anything that you don't want to do. Ugh, but the guild says I do. I can't turn my back on my purpose any more than I could Aora in need. Okay. I never did want to take the easy route. She nods. I'll keep reaping more souls then. Do my duty till I fall to dirt and bones. Never you worry though. I'll see to dumping my lantern in the future on my own. Okay, that's better so she doesn't have those nightmares. Thank you for finding me a way to handle my burden. Even if it does involve the occasional jolt of pain. Chest heaving, Shoti scrambles for the other shard embedded in the ground. The crystal's liquid blood from her palm, she shoves it in her pocket. She then shakes her head. We gained an item, <clears throat> a luminous other mantle. This small shard of luminous other glows with soul energy. Though obviously shorn from a larger piece, it has the appearance of being tooled, as though for a specific purpose. Perhaps it could be used to improve upon Shoti's lantern. Oh? Darn if I don't feel so light, I could float away. Shoti casts an odd look toward Darkened Lantern before turning you a whimsical smile. Doing any better? My bones are still a little jangly. But yeah, I think I am. Jangly. I don't know if this is what Gon planned for me. But I'd like to think we did right by these souls. I would so too. We're bringing light to the darkness. Ensure in spring follows the common fall. She dusts her hands on her hips before setting off at a, ter a, ter a, ter bleh, a, a determined clip. Okay, cool. So yeah, she did get injured. System shock. Okay, so we're gonna have to rest to remove this. I am gonna lose my buff from the, the red hand, however. Which makes me a little bit sad, but it's fine. So, alright, oh and I have this, the candied nuts. I, I have to go back to... Um, Fort Deadlight. So, what's happening here? Oh, this is new, isn't it? This is new. Light of the Dawn Star. Grand Slight of the Dawn Star. 5% resistance against spells? Is that it? Aura gives nearby allies a chance to resist incoming spells. The chance increases with the Wielder's Religion skill. Ah, wait. This could be better. I mean, I'm just gonna do it. It, it specifically says improve Shoti's Lantern, so I'm thinking it's only for this. Sure. Okay. Well, I could also give it a fine status, or even exceptional. Yeah, the one bad thing about this is if you want to enchant exceptional, you have to first enchant fine. Which means this is compounding. Jesus Christ. Um... <clears throat> Sure, why not? I like her lantern, I want to keep on using it, so I guess might as well just enchant it to fine. Uh, but now I want to see exactly how much I'm getting from this. Really? Wait, plus zero religion? What do you mean? Dude, she has like 11 religion. Mm -hmm. Game. I think the game is messing with me or it's bugged. Because... Because... 
She has 11 religion, dude. So how is this possible? Okay, I'm gonna guess it's bugged. And maybe if I load the game, it's gonna get better. Sure thing. Okay, let me quick save and quick load very quickly. Because that, that doesn't seem normal to me. Unless the, the buff is the 8%, it's just not showing properly. Happy to oblige. Still says the same thing. Well, I'm gonna have to check online to see if this is a known bug or if it's working properly, I don't know. Okay, very weird. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Well, in any case, I think her quest is complete, right? Bec uh, which was it? God damn it, sorry. Why do I keep losing my quests? Uh, this one, Blunt of Gone. I encourage Shoti to seek the light of Gon's lantern of spring following a fall. Okay. So yeah, this is done. Alright, so I think my next objective is going to be... Well, first off, I want to rest to remove her debuff there, her, her injury. And then I think I'm going to go for fourth deadlight because now I have the candied nuts that I can give to... I think her name was Aldis, the, the pirate. So I'm just gonna place my characters over here. You suddenly seem cheerful lately. Sleeping better, I hope? Sure am. Been sleeping like a newborn babe. <laughs> but, uh, less fussy. I don't suppose you could share your secret. I rarely get a decent night on the ship. Oh, it's easy. You just gotta get the tar shocked out of you when you dump a bunch of souls into a luminous Audra pillar. <laughs> nice suggestion, Shorty. Um, so I guess I want to go to the Queen's Birth and the Wild Mare. So we can rest. Oh, come on. A voice calls out to you from an alleyway. This is the gullet. Nekitaka's poorer districts host more dark than light. The streets and, ally, uh, and alleys, the only housing many who want to know. As you pass by one of these alleys... Why am I saying allies? Jesus. Alleys, a voice calls out. You turn to see a hand fold out from the darkness. The pale palm balances a figurine, more silhouette than statue in the dim light, and when you try to get a clearer look, the fingers fold back up. Magic, the voice says. It summons beasts to harry your enemies. We'll save you in a pinch in a city as dangerous as this. Surely your life's worth a few silver? Torchlight glints from the man's teeth. You want, you follow. The figure withdraws into the darkness. This sounds like an ambush. This is Arcana. Though you, could, though you only caught a glimpse of it, you know that the figurine is no mere trinket. There is untapped power within its form. I mean, if there is untapped power, I want to have it. Let's enter the tunnel. Within the, within the alley, a torch ignites, revealing a tunnel entrance. You pass through the archway. On the other side, of course. On the other side, a group of Principi hold torches and blades. Bodies stuff the corners, eyes dry in the flickering flames, some with their hands bound, others face down in the grime. Strangely va vachil. Easy, isn't it? The pirate draws his weapon. Set out a little cheese and these foreign rats come tick, 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 chittering in. I can try to intimidate. I don't, I don't like people threatening me, so we're gonna draw our weapons and attack. This is gonna be a bit of a longer episode, but let's fight. Hopefully they aren't like 30 levels above me. I don't like being surrounded. Six enemies. Bring them down. Okay. Chanter, Pistolier, Brawler, Cutthroat, Die. Oh, this guy is named. 
a paladin and a cutthroat, okay. I'm trying to think of how I want to position my party. Because I could send it there over there. And just have Mr. Piggy over here, but this makes my party a little bit fragile, I think. I could have Takehu try out his his tanking and see how that would go. Not that I have a lot of faith in it. Um, okay, let, let's let's see what we can do. I'm gonna try and engage with Mr. Piggy, and also with it there. And I'm gonna try and have the rest of my people kind of try and go like this. See if I can do it. Mm, I don't think I can. Okay, so wait. Okay, so everybody is engaging over there. This guy is going for him, which sucks. He's going for me. Oh my god, man. Okay, I don't like this. It's official. Okay, stealth up. <clears throat> oh, these guys are both ranged. So most of the fight's gonna take place here. So I need to bring my people back. So Aloth, get back. You, get back. You... What do you do? I guess you could give us a circle of protection. Sure. Okay, so okay, so you're actually tanking right now. This guy is going for Aloth. I'm gonna try and see if I can knock him down. This bitch is focusing still on my rogue, but I'm gonna go invisible. Okay, <clears throat> I'm invisible. Let's back up. Let's go over here. Hopefully I can move, what the hell? Okay, so Takehu is tanking. Aloth is running for his life. <laughs> I'm invisible. So go over there. Uh, you are gonna hold this guy, I think. Yeah, as long as me and Aloth can back out, I think we're mostly okay. And you know what? This guy is actually not that healthy. So, first things first. I think I wanna, I wanna have a Moonwell on top of us to make sure we're safe you are gonna try to knock this guy up but this guy is actually kinda low on HP so I'm gonna try and blow him up with my rogue here <clears throat> so you buff yourself with this and I will do this and that okay he's swift let's move Okay, good, good. Let's get some tentacles going here. Okay, this guy is done. Good. Let's go into our circle of defense. Shoti, let's get a Devotions for the Faithful hitting everybody over here. Sounds lovely. Takehu, I think he cast the moon well. Which makes me happy. So I'm gonna go for the returning storm. And I also have the one from my... Oh no, I don't. Never mind, never mind. Okay, so you're fighting. Ow. Yes. So you are going to start focusing... I think I'll just go for this guy. He doesn't have a lot of deflection. You can see there, he only has 58. He's two levels higher, but he's not that tanky. So I am going to try and do a crippling strike, followed by a wounding shot. Mr. Piggy is being an awesome tank. Let's speed this up a bit. <laughs> He's going for my rogue again. Jesus Christ. Dude. Just leave me alone, man. Um, <clears throat> I think I will just buff up with Aloth and then start shooting. Are you going to make me go invisible again? Maybe not. He's immobilized by the tentacles. Awesome. He still moved. Magically somehow. So I'm actually gonna do this again. 
<clears throat> Let's just tilt up. Shoti is fighting. That's okay. Okay, I'm invisible. And you can just run away without getting engagement attacks because you have alacrity of motion. Haha, <laughs> suck it, bitch. You can't hit anyone. Okay, so. Crippling Strike plus Wounding Shot should leave him very damaged. Piggy, focus over here. Or actually go over there. Oh, he's gonna die. He is going to die. Perfect! 112 damage. Let's switch for the Paladin then. Well, he's not actually tanking, but he's... he's Fetting okay. Uh, let's maybe swap to our shark form. Let me just compare this because I have 80 deflection, very good. 21 to 31. Oh, Moonwell is also buffing me, that's right. I should have 70 here. So, but any, in any case, 11 armor rating and 8 deflection. And if I swap for the shark. I have less deflection, okay, 10 armor rating, so at this point I think the shark is worse, but it might deal more damage, I guess. No <laughs> you son of bitches, that was not cool my friend, you shall pay for that, okay get over here. Uh, heal. Actually, heal like this and then do this. This thing isn't doing the job. Sure it is. You're just not doing it properly. Yeah, buddy. Yes. I deal more damage than you. Where is he going? Why would a ranged character jump into the middle of a melee? It's not very wise, dude. Not very wise at all. Okay, he's gonna die very quickly. This one doesn't really matter all that much. Now let's focus on him then. Because he's trying to shoot my rogue. Actually, Piggy, go help. Uh, go into the healing. Ow. Dead. Awesome. Man, this guy is quite tanky, actually. 60 damage. Let's go for a ne uh, Necrotic Lance. See how he likes it. Yeah, it, it doesn't take much damage. Reap! Yeah, shorty! Man, when Shodi hits with the reaping, yeah. it's very awesome. Okay, well, I enjoyed this fight. This was a figurine, the battered dog figurine. One per rest summons a grave hound. This small hound is whittled from cedar. The, the craftsmanship, while admirable, is hardly that of a professional artisan, and the figurine is in rough repair. It has the smell of a graveyard about it. Perhaps it was buried at some point. A grave hound. I don't know what that is. Okay, so I want to keep this here for examination in the future. And before I forget, because I was already forgetting, I need to get my helmet. What is my helmet? The one I just purchased. What? Oh, it's here. Yeah, the pearlescent rhomboid hellstone. So I can give this to you. Well, not flanked. No, I prefer this one. I think. Okay. Yeah, pretty shoty. <laughs> okay, so yeah, we're gonna end the episode right here because it's been a little bit longer than usual. We had the bonus fight, I guess. Uh, nothing else in this. Oh, in this area, except a way out. Maybe over here? 
Yeah, also a way out. Um, but yeah, we're gonna end our episode here, my friends. Um, in the next one, I plan on going back to Fort Deadlight, since we now have the candied nuts, so we can talk to Captain Aldis and see what she wants. Um, so yeah, as usual, thank you so much for being here with me in the channel, watching some Pills of Eternity 2 Deadfire. If you guys have any questions, any suggestions, anything at all, leave a comment below. If you are enjoying the content, consider subscribing for more. There's videos coming out every single day. And I hope to see you all in the next episode. Until then, stay safe, everyone. What can I do you for? Judge. Sure thing. <laughs>